Okay, so since a lot of you have not made the script work, the auto clicker. Oh, now I have to rephrase myself. It's not an exploit. It's an auto clicker. A script is a script, okay? Like a, a movie manuscript or, you know, a script. It's a code. It's just a fancy word for coding. A script, a manuscript, whatever. Okay, so one of my viewers on Discord, one that I trust because I've, I have spoken with him a lot of times on voice chat. He's a very nice guy. His name is Lysak, or he goes by the name, I don't know his real name. But, um, so what is it th that he has? He has made an auto clicker, but it's, it kind of looks, it looks saucy. It looks fishy. <laughs> Pun intended. It, it looks fishy. It looks like some type of hack. I mean, if you have to be politically correct, using an auto clicker is some type of hack, but it doesn't go against it doesn't go against Roblox TOS when you don't inject the script into the game. This does not inject into the game. It's basically just you're typing commands. This is an auto clicker without the fancy GUI, without the fancy um this what it could look like this, basically, if he had made a GUI for this small script he made. But you open this in command with a programming language called Python. He coded the script in Python. It's an auto-clicker. And what it does, it auto-clicks way better than the tiny task in here. Because of the... Let me show you the script. Open with notepad or edit in notepad. Edit in notepad. Let's see here. So that's the script he made. The auto-clicker here. Import time. Import py. Auto GUI. Uh-huh. See, there's nothing here that says grab the cookies. Grab the huge pads. You know what I mean? You can see here. Screenshot image. Okay, grab. Okay, wait a minute. What is this? What? No, no, okay. Here he's asking for the pixel color. Okay. Uh, screenshot get pixel. So he's getting the pixel of... Uh, he's getting the color code for the tab. This right here. Get pixel color. This is the... This is the code right here. Get pixel color is... I'm pretty sure it's for this right here. Return pixel color. Uh, target color. Target color is uh, this right here, which is this, the color code for this. For the blue stuff here. Target color. That's the color code for the, the blue stuff here. Check interval. You see, it's not it's not any uh, cookie grabbing. He's we not here to. Dude, I'm a star creator. I'm not here to get bad reputation. All I know is if it turns out, it's not gonna be a hack, okay? If it was, I'll be so pissed at this dude. No, but I trust the dude. He's very kind. I even asked him, should we make a GUI and then sell it for five bucks? And he was like, I don't like selling, bro. And I tried to explain to him, if you create value, people are willing to pay to win if you create something valuable. And he wasn't. He was like, no, I think we should maybe. Okay, maybe three bucks. <laughs> he's a very kind guy. He just wants to give this for free. He's, he didn't come to me and say, Hey, Ram, I got this. Uh, I was the one asking him, what you've been doing? Oh, I've been fishing. And then I asked him, how do you AFK fish? Oh, I made my own script. What? So I was the one coming to him asking, what are you doing? Oh, I'm f fishing, you know? And then I asked him, how do you do it? So, you know, I, I got curious and I needed to know. Let me try that thing you're doing. So the first step for you is to watch this Indian tutorial. Maybe also after that, I'm gonna link both videos in the description. That's just to make sure you have installed Python application or Python code, correct. Python is like a coding language. And then there's two videos, the one with the Indian dude, and this is also another Indian dude. This is to get the, this is to get the right path where it's installed. So if you watch the first video, then you should maybe also add, uh, also watch this video. How to add Python installation to path environment variable, because that's the issue I had. There was something wrong with the path, which is this right here, path. Yeah, right there. That BS right there was super annoying. And you needed to add this into the edit environment variable. Yeah. And Python 3.12 instead of 3.10. This is his username. This is going to be your username instead. Your PC, your Windows username. Let me just close this. Click open on the script. Oh, I closed it. Okay, so this file right here, ASD2. I'm pretty sure in this one you need to type, before I do anything inside of Roblox Fishing Game, pip install keyboard. Requirement already satisfied. That means I've already installed the keyboard, but maybe you haven't. So pip install keyboard from this ASD2 file. Then you also have to do this one. Pip install py auto GUI. Press enter. Already satisfied. Then pip install pillow, whatever that is. Already satisfied. And then the last one, pip install time. Hit enter. Oh, could not find a version that satisfies the requirement. Time from versions none. Okay, I don't know, but for some reason it works when I... So I just close this, I go back in Roblox, and then I open this, and then I type the command, um... No, it's already... It's already working. Nope, nope, it seems that it's broken now. <laughs> it's clicking way too slow again, which was the problem I had in the beginning. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is the wrong file. Because I renamed my file to my screen. Here, this is mine. Custom made for my screen resolution of 4K. I think it should work now. Yeah. 
dude, it's still gonna. I, I bet it's still gonna be complicated for some of you because it's still. I still don't quite understand. He also said he needs to make. Uh, if you have a different screen resolution, he made his screen resolution to fit. Uh, I don't know if it was full HD or 1440p. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so let me just screen share. <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, tell me, uh, can you read like this uh, font? Yeah. Uh, so, so, so it isn't like pixelated or pixelated or anything, right? That's good. All right. So the first issue uh, people had was that pip wasn't found. So when they like do pip uh, version, it says that uh, pip isn't recognized. And okay. And to fix it, you just type uh, Python. You go to file location, right click on it, and also f open file location. Then you copy this uh, this yeah. path. Yeah. Go to si go to system uh, system uh, variables. And you go to uh, system va variables over here and find path. Then you click new, paste the the path you just uh, copied. And can add I just a can I pause you right there? After you yeah, do yeah. this step, you need to restart your computer. No, you don't. In my case, I needed to do so because I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do remember. But uh, from what I tested, you did, I didn't have to restart restart it uh, after this. In some cases, you do because mine did not show up until I. Re Every time we opened this, it would delete what we just put in, and then I restarted the computer. It would then show them. Yeah. All right. So uh, we paste this path and add a backslash at, uh, at the end. Click uh, enter. And then we add another one. Paste it. Add backslash. Type scripts and add another backslash. And also we click, we click enter and we move it to the very top, both of, both of them. So so they're gonna be like uh, this. Yeah. Now we click OK, OK, and OK. Now w when we go to uh, CMD, we have to first close it, open it again, and now it's gonna show that the pip version is uh, whatever. <laughs> so now uh, pip uh, is fixed. Now the second issue. Uh, let me just. Let's say that that there's no such file. Mm. So what we have to do is we press Windows plus E. And we go to our uh, disk C, users, your name, in my case it's user, but for everyone else, maybe anything, uh, something different. And we put the fish file uh, in here. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to work, so I just made that little typo. All right. Now it says that, that there's no module like uh, py auto, uh, auto GUI. So the thing we have to do is type pip install py auto GUI. And then we just wait until it's uh, gonna load all the the stuff it it, it, it has to loads. Mm -hmm. Can I cut this out because this will take a while. <laughs> Plus, you know, speed it up. I have a question. Yeah. What is the name of that file? That two something. You know. Uh, what? The uh, the file I made you do with the ASD two dot bat. Yes, that one. Uh, it's a file that 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 will. Uh, it's like a quality of life uh, thing. Where you just click it and then you just type uh, py uh, fish.py and the script just starts instead of going to the folders, uh, finding the, the correct folder, you know, and then uh, clicking on the uh, script. So it's not something we have sent out to them? No, because it's different for everyone. So why do I have one? To make it easier for you to use, use the script. Oh. But yeah, you, you don't have to do it. It's not like essential for the, for the script to work. All right, so now the py auto GUI has finished, and now uh, if you'd want to s start the, um, the script, it would say that there's no uh, module named pill. And what you need to do is type pip install and type pillow. Is this in the fish file? Mm, to make it work, uh, yes. Yeah, where well, you type in all the st commands you just did, you have to do it in the fish.py file. No, it can be in any CMD. It just because uh, it, it affects the whole uh, PC. Oh, okay. It, yeah, yeah. Right, so now the fish file would work, if not the fact that now now it says that uh, it can d d detect the color, even if uh, there was uh, such color. Of course, it kicked me. Um, and to fix this, well, epic. All right, and uh, and to fix this, uh, you'll have to get the cores of this exact uh, spot on the tab uh, text, and I just. So just use uh, GS Auto Clicker for this, and just click Options, Recording, click Settings, pick Point, and you cover over the over over the A. Uh, and those letter. numbers it shows is the coordinates for the on the screen. Yes, yes. And and, and, and you just have to rem remember them and uh, paste them into the script. So let me just do that real quick. Uh, yeah, because that way it will suit everyone, no matter what screen resolution they have. Mm. 
could you repeat please I and mean, like i kind of don't the reason why you're doing the auto clicker thing right now is to to get um the screen resolution if you got a 4k monitor or a, yeah, yeah that's why yes. you're doing this right now yes yes you're getting the coordinates that's the coordinates you're getting for your specific screen correct yes so now uh, i just go to the fish uh, file and i edit uh, these coordinates right here yes from the while true current color pixel blah blah and here now now i just click Control s to save the script now i, now I can close it and now if everything everything is done correctly which it should well when i just start the script it yeah you should... start the script by typing p y space fish dot p y or whatever you named the file the script. yeah, yeah. And, and and you just uh, started w. and as you can see it works completely fine yes it's w mine it's works also... i have used it all night and i did not get disconnected yeah so it also works on uh, both of the fishing areas both and fishing with areas yes of yes course. and with every fishing rod w thank yeah. you so much dude <laughs> no problem okay ggs ggs